Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the channel today. We're going to talk about the luxury aircraft maker Bombardier, subsidiary's motorcycle brand, Kinem Motorcycle, that recently launched the Pulse and Origin in North America on August 20th. The Origin ADV is priced at $14,499, and the street version Pulse is priced at $13,999, which is not cheap. So what are the highlights of these two models that make them sell at such high prices? So let's dug the reasons, and before starting, subs the channel and share it with your friends. So let's dug it. The Ken AM Pulse and Origin share the same platform, including a 47 horsepower Rotax e-power motor and 8.9 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery. The top speed is 130 kilometers, and the estimated range of the Pulse in urban riding is 160 kilometers, while the Origin's range is 145 kilometers. When riding in mixed conditions like freeways and city streets, the Pulse's range drops to about 130 kilometers, and the Origin's range drops to about 115 kilometers. The Pulse accelerates from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds, while the Origin's 0 to 100 acceleration time is 4.3 seconds due to its heavier weight and larger wheels. And interestingly guys, the power is transmitted to the rear wheel through a sealed chain case. Ken AM claims that the chain case produces less noise and requires less maintenance due to the use of oil lubrication and automatic chain tensioner. The onboard 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger is compatible with both level one and level two charging and cooling system is liquid cooled so charging speeds aren't slowed down by overheating. Using level two charging, KinAM claims a zero to 100% charge takes one hour and 30 minutes, while a 20 to 80% charge takes 50 minutes. Using a regular 120V level one charger, it takes zero to 100% charge takes five hours and 15 minutes, while a 20 to 80% charge takes three hours and 10 minutes. In terms of chassis, the Origin is equipped with 43mm KYB inverted front shock absorber and KYB HBG rear shock absorber with preload. Compression and rebound are adjustable, and both front and rear provide 255mm shock travel. On the other hand, the Pulse uses 41mm KYB inverted front fork and Saks double tube coil spring shock absorber, which only provides preload adjustability, and both front and rear travel are 140mm. Braking for both models is provided by J.1, with a single piston floating caliper plus 320mm brake disc for the front wheel, and a single piston floating caliper plus 240mm brake disc for the rear wheel with a BS braking. So here they don't provide any top level item to justify their pricing. If we're talking about their electronic configuration, the main riding data of the two bike will be displayed on a large 10.25 inch touchscreen and that is well built. The instrument display has built-in Apple CarPlay navigation and can be connected to mobile phone applications. At the same time, various settings are also completed on this instrument. The Can-AM Pulse Street Car provides four driving modes like Normal, ECO, Rainy Day, and Sport Plus, while the Origin ADV provides six driving modes like Normal, Eco, Rainy Day, Sport, Off-Road, and Off-Road Plus. As of now, there is really nothing special about these two electric two-wheel motorcycles from Bombardier, and overall features of those bike, the price is not justified. So what's your thought about this two-motorcycle? Tell us on the comments.